We found unsatisfactory health reports in every local county. Dozens of pools and apartments, condo complexes, and hotels all shut down by state inspectors. We combed through 5,800 inspection reports and a troubling trend quickly emerged. I-Team investigative reporter Lindsay Gardner is here with what you need to know. Lindsay? Well, Tom and Mary, some people at home may not know this, but Florida law mandates that each county's health department check public and commercial pools twice a year. The News for Jack's I-Team found a cluster of shutdowns in one county, St. John's County, among hotels and resorts in popular destinations of St. Augustine and Anastasia Island. The Caliguire family says a clean pool is a must when they book a hotel. We try to burn off all their energy we can. Toddlers Braylon and Leland are having a splashing good time on vacation from Ocala here at the Ponce Hotel in St. Augustine. Uh, this is actually our second time at this place and this pool is very nice. But the News 4 Jack's I team found the pool at the Ponce Hotel was briefly closed in April by state health inspectors. Six violations were noted, including missing maintenance logs, a missing sign, and issues with chlorine levels. The general manager says the issues were fixed that same day and the pool reopened. The general manager of the Ponce Hotel didn't want to go on camera, but she did invite us back here to the pool area to see the fixes that she says were done the same day. A small rule sign that was previously missing now posted beside the pool rules. A pool chemical test kit now here on site, as well as a pool maintenance log. She also tells me the hotel employs a certified pool operator or a professional company that comes daily to check the chemicals in the pool. For Josh, the fixes were appreciated. We looked to see if it's maintained, if there's stuff floating in it, um, any algae or anything in it, especially them scrubbing the sides down, the sliminess, you can definitely tell. Well, you're an informed consumer. Well, my parents own a pool company, so. <laughs> The News for Jack's I team found 17 commercial pools and spas at hotels, motels, and resorts all across St. John's County closed or ruled unsatisfactory by inspectors with the Florida Department of Health. As you can see, most were in the vacation destinations of St. Augustine and Anastasia Island. The Colony Reef Club on A1A had a waiting pool closed back in February. Six violations counted, including chlorine and pH levels not meeting standards. The previous two inspections there had been clear. Next door to it, the Bryn Mawr Ocean Resort on A1A ruled unsatisfactory for seven violations. That pool was not closed, though, because the violations weren't found to involve any problems with chemicals. We found this Fairfield Inn and Suites by the outlet malls had a host of issues. Four health inspections in just one week. The pool was closed on January 31st for eight violations, including problems with chemicals from chlorine to pH levels. The inspector also noted safety deficiencies. The inspector followed up that week and found fewer and fewer violations until it was finally reopened five days later. And the spa at this Best Western Plus on State Road 16 also closed in February for multiple issues with chemicals and even a disinfection feeder not running properly. Pool professionals tell me there are several daily factors that can affect a pool's chlorine levels, including the temperature outside. The heat plays a big role. Plus, if there's been any recent rain, the pool's water temperature, how many people are swimming in the pool, as well as human error, the quality of work being done by the person who is servicing the pool. So one tip for you, Go ahead and get your own water quality test strips. You can travel with them. That way you can check the pool's chlorine levels for yourself. Also, you can call the hotel or resort and ask if they have a certified pool operator on staff or if they use a professional pool company to service the pool regularly. Other St. John's County pools closed recently for chemical issues included the historical Best Western Inn Spa downtown, the St. Augustine Ocean and Racquet Club Spa on A1A, the spas at the Hampton Inn and the Holiday Inn, both on Ponce de Leon Boulevard, and the spa at the Fairfield Inn at Ponte Vedra Beach. The Sawgrass Marriott Resort and Beach Club in Ponte Vedra Beach given an unsatisfactory inspection in March Four violations, including a missing life ring with a rope that would potentially help with drowning. If you look inside my story on the iTeam page of news4jacks.com, you're going to find a link to search the state pool inspections for yourself so you can know the pool that you take your family to is safe or if there's something you need to be aware of.